Hello, this is topic 8 1 uh, over slope as a constant rate of change. So, slope measures the steepness or rate of change of a line. More specifically, is the, it is the rate of vertical change to horizontal change. And so we have our slope equals the change in y values over the change in x values. An easy way to remember this would be rise over run. And so let's go ahead and talk a little about slope. There are four types of slope. Here we have positive, because as it goes to the right, it goes up. Next we have negative, because as it goes to the right, it goes down. Here, we have a horizontal line, and so this is a zero slope. And over here, we have a vertical line, and this is no slope. Okay. These are horizontal lines. and vertical lines. Now let's actually practice finding slope. So I have a bunch of points on a graph and I want to find the slope between the given points. So C and D, will I rise one, two, three. I'm actually falling three. And then I'm running one, two, three. So I fell three, that's three in the negative. I ran three to the right, that's three in the positive. And negative three over three equals negative one. Now let's talk B and C. Well, we rise, one, two, three, four. And we run, one, two, three. Oh, I didn't rise four, I rose one, two, three. And I'm running one, two, three, four, five, six. I went positive and positive, and three-sixths simplifies down to one-half. For E and F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I fall twelve, so it would be negative twelve, and I run zero. Well, we can't divide by zero, and so this would be no slope. Notice that EF would be a vertical line. CD is negative. and BC is positive. Well, now let's have a look at AE. It's positive, but let's go ahead and count. I rise one, and I run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I rose one, I ran twelve, and that just equals 112. 
for BD. Notice I have a horizontal line. I'm running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I rows 0. Well, that just equals 0. And lastly, we're talking about BF. I fall 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that doesn't simplify, so it's still negative 6 over 11. And that's how we find slopes of lines. We just count rise over run, and we simplify the fraction that we get. Well, now we're going to change topics just a little bit slightly. Uh, we're going to talk about dilations. And so a dilation is an enlargement or a reduction. And we're going to use slope to dilate our figures. And to do this, we're going to talk about the scale factor. And so the scale factor is more than 1 than an enlargement will be produced. And if the scale factor is less than 1, then a reduction will be produced. Just a little bit of vocabulary. Let's go ahead and put that into practice. Uh, I've got triangle ABC, and I want to dilate using a scale factor of 2. And A is the vertex of my new triangle. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, from A to B was a rise of 1, 2, 3. And I run 2. Well, to get to the new B, I'm just going to multiply that by 2 over 2. And 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. So now I'm going to go 6 over 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's my new B value. Now A to C has a rise of 1. A slope of 1, 2, 3. I'm going to multiply that by 2 over 2. And I'll get 2 over 6. So I rise 1, 2 and run 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's my new C. Go ahead and connect my triangle. And now I need to locate my points. Will be my x value is 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. So negative 4. And my y value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Up. My new c is 2 to the left, so that would be negative 2. And 3 up, so that would be a positive 3. So that's using a scale factor of and now we're going to dilate this other one using a scale factor of 3. And x is my vertex. So xz has a slope of 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 2 over negative 3. I'm going to multiply that by 3 over 3, because that's my scale factor. 
and that gives me negative 6 over negative 9. So I go ahead and move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's my new z. And now xy falls down 1 and goes right 1, so negative 1, positive 1. Multiplying that by 3 and 3, I get negative 3 over positive 3. I'm going to move the same way from x. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There's my new y. And when I connect my triangle, you'll see that these are indeed similar. And now I need to find my new points. Well, y is at 9, 1. And z is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And so that's how I can use scale factor and slope to dilate shapes. Um, most of this assignment was about finding slope. Uh, and being able to use that slope for dilations. Good luck on your assignment and have a good day.